What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be talking about the FIFA World Cup mode in eFootball. Yes, eFootball and FIFA teaming up for a collaboration. I mean, what's going on man? It's crazy. It's crazy, isn't it? Well, let's talk about it, right? And what it could mean for the future. What it could mean kind of going forward into the series like eFootball 26 and onwards or how they're going to do it, right? Now, the first thing I want to say is just to kind of answer a couple of questions. We were streaming yesterday and today. We're just fresh off our streams. And a lot of people were asking me the same questions that we were answering, right? So, basically with this FIFA E-World Cup, right? It's the eSports FIFA event, okay? And it says here, this is your opportunity to show your skills for two exciting tournaments hosted by FIFA E, the FIFA E-World Cup 2024, on mobile and console. However, it's not on all consoles. It is literally just on PS5, and that's it. You're not talking about Xbox, and obviously the game is not on Switch or anything like that, um, and it's not even on PC. This is literally PS5, uh, PS4, and mobile, okay? And it says here that the tournament is gonna to be 2v2 on console and 1v1 on mobile, right? Now, also, if you go into the details here, there's a couple of things that I think are good about this and a couple of things that are bad, okay? Firstly, you will only be able to compete and represent your country if you are playing in the region that you have set from the start. So for example, me being from Ireland, living in Ireland with Ireland nationality, Ireland are not in this, and I'll get into that in a second. And just because the first round is against the AI, which I'll show you here, right? It actually does say that you will not be able to proceed in the tournament regardless of your ranking in round three. So for me, right, it doesn't make a difference that if I enter this in here, and I'm going to show you in a second what the screen looks like, right? It doesn't matter what team I pick here. I'm not, Nether I'm not from Netherlands. I'm not from Poland. I'm not English. I'm not French. I'm not Brazilian. So it doesn't matter what team I pick. The only thing I can get from this because the region of mine or my choice or where I'm from, my nationality, is not in as the game here in this event. It doesn't matter, man. I can pick Spain, and if I was to win every single match, I would still not be able to represent Spain as their representative. It has to be somebody with Spanish nationality, Turkish nationality for Turkey, Portuguese nationality for Portugal, and so on and so on, right? So whatever team you pick here, there is no turning back from it. You have to stick with this team. So this is actually the main screen that you're seeing here. So we've selected France, obviously, and then the first round is going to be against the AI, okay? Now you can see the details here. And it is basically going to tell you the breakdown. So the first challenge to unlock the second challenge, the first one is going to be against the AI. You can play on any difficulty. Clear the AI challenge event to advance to round two. Round two is going to be online, player versus player, like in eFootball League or in the events with playing against other players. Clear the, play the PvP challenge to advance to the ranking event. Once you get to the ranking event, that is going to be that you compete in multiple 1v1 matches with the top players having a chance to be invited for the next phase of selection individual to each participating nation. So the idea behind this is that the best players from France, Portugal, Por uh, Brazil, Spain, England, Italy, wherever, Holland, wherever, Netherlands, they're all going to just come to the top, right? Once you clear this and you clear this, you will enter into the round three, which is starting on the 18th of the 10th, which is next week, okay? And then it's gonna be just the best results and it's gonna go into a ranking table. So it's gonna be the most rank that you have, the highest rank that you have, goal difference, wins, losses, whatever. And that's gonna be it, right? Now, also on top of this, when you start this, you are gonna be using your normal team, as in your dream team. So you can pick anything here, you can agree to all of these, and then you're gonna be aiming for one win. It doesn't matter what difficulty. Now listen, if you just wanna win this, like for me, I can't win anything here. So if I just wanna play on beginner here, I can do that and just get my 30,000 XP. That's all I can gain out of this, right? If you don't have a French squad or you don't have enough players that are from France, you will get players handed to you, okay? So for example, one quick way of doing it is if you want to auto pick players, you can do whatever you want to do. Or of course, you can go into your substitutions. You have to play with your dream team, right? So it's irrelevant, man, uh, of what you want to do. There's no conditions on this. You don't have to play with French players. You don't have to play with this or that. Obviously, you can if you want to, but there is no bonus conditions or any conditions. You can just play with your team straight up. It doesn't make a difference um, if you have one French player or all French players. You, there is no conditions on this event. When you go on, there will be, right? So you can change this at any time because you're only going to be playing against the AI, and you can literally go in and play that, right? It doesn't really make a difference to this, and you need to get one win there, and then that will unlock to get another win there. So that's your challenges there. 
Now, what I want to talk about as well, I'm not going to make this video too long because it's fairly self-explanatory, right? This is the competition here where you need to win. You basically have five matches to get six points. So it's two wins. They're the rewards that you get. First time you get eFootball coins worth 50. Then you get a skill trainer. And then your last one is two skill trainers. There's also a global tournament reward as well for the high rank. So it's a combination of 400 million eFootball coins, right? And this is the rank in here that it's going to be the breakdown. So the most people, this is going to be divided by that. So if you have 400 million divided by 5 million people that have played here with the top scores, that's basically going to be your breakdown or the 5 million goals. Most people are going to pick France, to be honest with you. Even people that are not from France are just going to pick France because it's the easiest thing to do as you get up and you have to use the French players. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a share of that, right? So, I mean, it is what it is, man. Obviously, the more... Uh, rewards that you have the better and it's probably worth doing it for that or the team that you pick like for example if you've only got like say Netherlands if you've only got 247,000 people that's a big comparison there between them and France and Argentina like it's a huge multiplier there for Netherlands right or all the way down obviously you want to score as many goals as possible but the sweet spot is probably somebody around like maybe maybe like Turkish uh, Portugal maybe um because there is going to be millions upon millions and millions of goals scored by the time this is ending, right? Now, I want to talk about as well, obviously you're probably asking, you know, EAFC, they've lost the FIFA license. Are FIFA working with NBA 2K's creators 2K to make a FIFA game? Everything seems to be up in the air, man. Is there a possibility that FIFA could expand or Konami could expand on their end? Could Konami expand on this partnership into the world cup next year the next world cup or could they do it like what would the fifa license actually bring to the game i think if fifa were smart because it doesn't mean if, if konami were to sign an exclusive partnership or a partnership with fifa right where it was going to be called fifa eFootball or eFootball fifa 2026 or whatever it's not going to give them rights to use real madrid's kits and badges because that's obviously an exclusive agreement with la liga and with madrid or whatever that's why, for example, you have AC Milan and Inter Milan in eFootball and you don't have them in FIFA or EAFC. Um, but I do think that there is definitely potential there. And I think it would be a very smart move if FIFA actually just sold the license to anybody that was interested. You know, it doesn't have to be exclusive. So, yeah. And also, as I said, it's not on Xbox. It's not on PC. It's literally on console. PS4, PS5. And again, it's not available in certain regions either. Some people have been messaging me saying, oh, I don't have this link. I don't have this banner. What is this? It's not in your region if you don't have it. And also, it's not on your console if you're playing on Xbox or PC. But let me know, lads. Honestly, let me know, right? It's just a quick video. Let me know what your thoughts would be on FIFA and eFootball joining up or Konami and FIFA joining up. And what you would like to see. One thing that could really benefit Konami from doing it could you imagine the FIFA World Cup cards? They're already bringing out cards. But imagine like if they were fully endorsed by FIFA and you could have like the celebrations, you could have like the, you know, the trailer with all the real footage. They'd have access to all of that, man. They could really do some unbelievable stuff. Also, one thing that I was thinking of doing was what about a scenario mode where you're dropped into certain situations, playing with a booster, trying to recreate famous moments from World Cup history. So 1998, France, Brazil 2002, Ronaldo, like all the way up to qualifiers or stuff like that. It would be class. Um, and especially as, you know, eFootball has gone more mobile-ish, you're thinking of games that are like kind of mobile-ish as well, where games that you kind of jump in at different points and you can do different, uh, you know, different things. Like Score Hero was one, I think. There was a couple of games like that where it's like, you know, you're controlling the, the career of a player. I think that's where they could really excel. And then when you complete the objectives, you win the card or something like that. And they could bring it online as well. But let me know your thoughts, lads. Honestly, that's just hope to clear up a bit of confusion. It's not on consoles, only on PS4 and PS5. And it's not on PC either. It's only on mobile and console or PS5, 4 and 5. Let me know what you guys think. I'll be back soon. Peace.